Aloha, I'm Kimo Hasi, and this is my very, very good friend, uh, Manny. Hi. Uh, we're here to do some wonderful, wonderful things, uh, not only for, uh, for you, or we think for you, but for us as well. One of the, one of the great things, uh, uh, Manny, I think, uh, I think for me with ukulele is there's always something to learn. Yes. Because there's no, because there's no traditional methodology in anything that has to do with ukulele. Right. Uh, you know, there's always, always something to learn. And one of the wonderful things I've been able to do as a player who doesn't build ukuleles is to become familiar with uh, some of the techniques that you guys uh, use uh, because I am interested in what makes an ukulele a quality ukulele. So what we'd like to do uh, uh, today is to share with you uh, some, uh, some aspects of ukulele, some, probably two in this case, because, because we just don't have the time to share everything we'd like to share uh, with you on these ukes. So, Manny, let's, uh, let's focus on design. Uh, okay. First of all, the, uh, I, I want to set this up so maybe the people can see it, and maybe you can hold yours up. And because both of these ukuleles were made by you, uh, can uh, can you tell us about these and start uh, start with your ukulele from the standpoint of design? Well, design basically this is a traditional um, baritone body design. Uh, it has a traditional sound hole here, added a sideboard here. Uh, but basically, it's just a normal standard baritone body. Right. Um, the scale is extended 23 and a quarter. Um, and it has a top and bottom binding, all wood. Right. And it's equipped with a Missy pickup. In, term, in terms of design, I, I think this little thing right here is, is really cool. Is, is that wood? Uh, the little flower or, or a leaf uh -huh. is a uh, mother of pearl, uh -huh. inlaid into uh, an ebony wood right. backing, and inlaid into the rosette of this oh, cool. core in inlay. And design-wise, that was just your idea to do that? Yeah, just something different. Cool. Uh, uh, also, from the standpoint of uh, design, why, why, why the side port? That side port's pretty close to the, to the, to, to the big sound hole on, on, on the top. Uh, well, it, it, it allows the player to get a lot of the sound uh, escaping out of here. Right. Rather than giving all the sound away. Cool. Uh, also, also uh, design-wise, I notice, uh, I notice on the side port that, that, uh, uh, that uh, the. Uh, you know, there's there's a side port, but what you've done is is gone inside a little bit and finished it and put this. I'll just call this a little lip uh, inside that I that I think really adds class. The side port uh, fender well. Fender well, cool. <laughs> oh. Is is that your word? Did you invent that word? I just invented it now. Oh, cool. <laughs> but you know, uh, a lot of people, a lot of uh, guys. Just cut out the hole and leave it bare. Yeah, uh, I I just kind of feel that it's uh, like unfinished a little bit. Yeah. So I put a trim. Mm -hmm. uh, Un unfinished is a, is a, is a good word because one of the things I like about that is that it's uh, it 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 softens it softens what maybe would have been a harsh edge mm -hmm. uh, is uh, is uh, is how I look at it, but. But basically, that is a, a basic baritone design, yes? Yeah, uh, a, a traditional baritone ukulele body design. Cool. Um, can, you, and, uh, can you play some strings, uh, strum just a little bit so we can hear it? Ah, one of the things, uh, one of the things I like about that sound uh, is a lot of times baritone ukuleles have such a low and mellow sound that um, that the sound, especially on the lower strings mm -hmm. and, and on the first, second, and third fret, sounds kind of muddy. Yeah. Uh, but not that one. That, yeah, uh, that sounds clean. nice and clear. Can you do that again? Oh, 
and speaking of design, I hear a different tuning. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is tuned in, uh, I guess you would call it a Wahini open uh -huh. D. Uh -huh. Not actually an open D, but this is a D chord. Beautiful. Beautiful. And can you play it just with the tuning so we can hear the tuning? Yeah. Oh, that's so pretty. Great. And now, and now, and now, for, and now from a standpoint of design, now that that ukulele is complete, what one thing or two things do you, as the builder, enjoy most about the finished product? The playability and the sound. The sound for a baritone is ah. really, uh, uh, the achievement is the low and mellow. Great. And uh, uh, the clean, the cleanness of the sound. Right. Cool. Okay, um, uh, we're gonna we're gonna come back to sound in a little bit, but what we want to do first of all is get back to design and, and have you tell us about this ukulele. This is a, a standard. Um, Are you sure it's standard? <laughs> well, <laughs> it's a pineapple back with a. Uh, Here's a, a pineapple back. Yeah, with a standard top. And. If if you do away with this portion, uh -huh. it'll be a regular standard uh, tenor shape. Right. Yeah, but I took it one step beyond and uh, connected the two. Oh, the cool. The pineapple and the, the, the figure eight uh, tenor uh, design. And uh, the side ports were designed to make that transition between the two shapes. Here and here. So basically what you're saying is that you used uh, uh, what I'll call sound holes, mm -hmm. these two side ports, as a means of connecting uh, the top and the bottom. The two different shapes. Design-wise. Yes. That's, in, that's incredible. Uh, so, so there's no sound hole on the top. And uh, first of all, before we get too far away from the sound, let me play that. It's, it's, it's a wonderful sound. Okay, keep going. And uh, it's all core body. Core here. Core on the back. What's this blue thing? Is that core? That's poured in uh, resin. Uh, there was a void in the, the spalting of the core. So I, I wanted to use that, that piece. Oh. So the resin was a means of oh. permitting you to use to this use to make the back. And complete the design. It's it's beautiful, and blue's my favorite color. So, <laughs> you know, blue, uh, blue, uh, my favorite color against my favorite instrument is just wonderful. Okay, and uh, what about what about this pineapple here? That pineapple is poured in resin. Uh, the pineapple was created outside. The design was created mm. outside and then inlaid into the fretboard. Cool. Cool. That's just great. Uh, one other thing um, I notice about uh, this ukulele is color. Uh, there's uh, there's lots and lots of color in, uh, in this ukulele. There's green here and red, brown, uh, tan, uh, caramel colored, uh, blue on the back, and they all uh, black black here, and they all come together. I think very very wonderfully. And um, again, the sound. Okay, now let me do that again. And this time, listen to the sustain on this uke. Sustain on the ukulele is how long the sound lasts. Listen to this. See, it lasts, it lasts very long and, and tails off very nicely. Um, what else would you like to tell us about uh, about this ukulele? I see a, an interesting looking red thing on the headstock. What is that, man? <laughs> That's poured in uh, resin uh, to uh, do my uh, headstock uh, logo. Oh. It's a PNK for Pahukani. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. 
Uh, okay, and now, uh, same question as I asked with that. Now that this ukulele has, is complete, and has been complete for a while, completed for a while, uh, what are the one or two things that you like most about it? That I was able to uh, do this design. Cool. Uh, it was r rambling around in my head how I was going to do it, and then... Uh, uh, the, and so the design, the design of it is just your idea. Yeah. How yeah, how was cool. I gonna, you know, connect the two designs? Yeah. And the the sound port allowed me to do that. Great. Okay. So um, we talked about we talked about um, design generally, uh, design on these ukuleles. Now, because we have two ukuleles by the same builder. Let us share with you uh, how these two ukuleles sound when they're played together. Okay? Mm hmm Good. Shoots, what's first? Puahi. Shoot. process of, uh, of making music, I imagine, uh, with ukuleles that you build is, is kind of a fun experience, no? Yeah. I, I, um, I, yeah. You know, the fun part, you can build them and you can I play them. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun uh, for me uh, to play these high quality use. Let's do one more. Okay. Maki uh, Ailana. Shoots. Pretty sound.
sound. Let's keep this discussion going with regard to your ukuleles. Awesome. Okay, we're back with you. We decided to take a, a, a quick break, and uh, since uh, we're highlighting, one of the things we're highlighting uh, are ukuleles built uh, by my good friend Manny Halliken. Uh, we decided to change ukuleles. Um, as you can see, we got a real, real special one that we're going to tell you about. Uh, but before we get to that one, uh, Manny, let's, uh, let's talk about this uke first, because I'm very, very familiar with this, um, with this ukulele. And again, we're going to stick to, uh, design, mm -hmm. uh, design and, and sound. So with regard to this ukulele, first of all, it's a, it's a baritone ukulele. Let me do this again for you. See how nice and mellow and sweet that sound is? Now listen to the <clears throat> sustain. I mean, this thing goes forever. Put this thing in a case at night, strum it, wake up in the morning, it's still going. <laughs> okay, Making anyway, coffee. it's a baritone. And if you notice, uh, if you notice, one of the things about it is that there is no sound puka um, on the top, and 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 the rest of it sort of kind of looks like a baritone, except for this here and this here. And what I'm going to do is let the builder uh, tell you about these two things. Go ahead, Manny. Well, first of all, um, the idea was to take the the sound ports off the soundboard top, right? Um, so it moved to the side. Okay, we'll talk uh, about this one first. Yeah, this is the first one that I decided to put part part way on the the soundboard, but um, mainly it's off to the side. And uh, I wanted the look to look when you're looking at the soundboard from the top, you can see this little detail here, some of it, mm -hmm. um, which uh, ties into some of the design that I I, I was thinking I, about. I I like this detail here, and 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 also and also up here. A pier part, and you know you can't you can't see that, but but it's it's finished mm -hmm. uh, here, and 
inside here and it and it and it looks really nice and it's a really really nice smooth curve as opposed to just a flat surface mm -hmm. uh that's just sheer air uh you know that that seems to be um um sharper so um okay how about how about this one then the other sound hole actually this was a cutaway and then uh when, when i did the cutaway there's a big blank space here so i decided to put uh, another sound hole there uh, <laughs> cool. just because um to add to the design yeah um, um and again and again this uh, uh this this puka uh is is finished on the sides and inside mm -hmm. so you know it's 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 a really nice curve that uh, that goes all the way inside instead of ending in uh, you know in a sheer edge uh here i i think that's cool kind of have a little artsy uh, feel to it yeah yeah okay tell us about uh tell us some more about this how about woods buddy okay the the, the top is a uh, european uh, moon spruce ah and i you know i i found out that uh why they call them a moon spruce because the 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 tree is harvested uh, in a full moon. Wow! For what uh, reason do you know? I have no idea. I I, I haven't gotten that far in my research, but uh, I just wanted to find out why the moon spruce name, mm -hmm. and that's the story behind it. Why they do it that uh, time of night? I I don't really know. Got it. Okay. Someone out there knows. <clears throat> so the top is moon spruce. The back and sides is uh, curly core, um, beautiful curly core. I agree. Uh, the, the the curls. This is my preferred curls. They're they're not knotty. They're, they're not uh, uh, very hard, um, and it it's easy to bend. Ah. Uh -huh. And it the 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 knotty ones, the really solid uh, curls. Yeah. Tend to uh, crack, I think. One of the things, one of the things I love about the, uh, uh, how you put this together and the woods you, you chose to use in terms of, uh, in terms of design is, and I'll, I'll, I'll try to portray that. Whoops. Um, and if you take a look, if, if you take a look at this white part, this is called sapwood. Yes. Yeah. Um, um, this thing goes around here like this, and 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 from here, look at this. It comes all the way up here. And on this side, on this side, it comes all the way up to the puka. Um, so to a certain degree, it's it's kind of a nice and natural symmetry. Mm -hmm. um, Sound-wise, again, just really, really wonderful. And this ukulele, this ukulele just loves to be played by an ukulele player who enjoys low and mellow sound. Mm -hmm. Without sound on the first two frets, being muddy, it's nice and clear. And when I play a, note, a chord uh, like this, it's very, very audible. Okay, so um, anyway, we'll, we'll get back to this uke in just a few minutes. Um, uh, in terms of uh, in terms of addressing its sound, which, by the way, you will love, Manny, mm -hmm. tell us about that very very special instrument you have there. One neck wasn't enough, so we decided <laughs> on two. Yeah, you gotta find somebody with an extra <laughs> pair of uh, arms to play. It. But uh, yeah, uh, this is a, a standard uh, baritone body, um, fitted with two. Uh, 10 or 18 inch scale necks. Um, was, was it just an idea you had to build a, to build a double well, neck? This is the second one I built. So oh. the first one was a prototype. Right. And it lives in San Francisco now. Oh. But uh, building the second one, I knew it was going to work because mm -hmm. I already built one. Um, but a little, little different um, designs and techniques went into it. Uh, compared to the first one but uh, the body is a standard baritone body uh -huh. the scale is 18 inches uh, tenor and uh, 
it has the typical uh, Beamer two-hole uh, soundboard. Mm -hmm. uh, as a arm bevel. And uh, 12 inch radius fretboards. Mm -hmm. One of one of the things one of the things we mentioned about uh, about this ukulele, this one is uh, is there's no puka on top. Mm -hmm. But I notice on that ukulele there's two pukas on top plus another one on the side. Yes. Mm -hmm. This this design was a request from the, ah. the owner. Um, and then this was my idea. Great. <laughs> I added that afterwards. That was your uh, your request to the owner. <laughs> right? Yeah. So uh, yeah. And the the the, the necks are tiger maple. It's a it's a beautiful instrument. Um, the back is core. How do you decide on one being four string and the other six? It was just that just your idea? Yes, the first one I built, uh, the top was an eight string mm -hmm. and the bottom was a four. But uh, the the owner requested to be a six string on the top. Oh, cool. Can we hear a little bit of it? Sure. Very nice. So. <laughs> Beautiful. I notice on uh, on uh, that double neck and also on this one uh, that uh, they all have zero frets. You uh, you and you enjoy you enjoy zero frets. Yeah, I started doing it uh, way back uh, <clears throat> maybe a couple two three years after I started building, and then I never went back right. to the old way. Yeah. <laughs> so I, yeah. I kind of love doing it. I, I I enjoy I enjoy zero frets as well because uh, for me they make a, a big difference in the feel in the action on the first second and third frets. Um, if there were uh, now that that ukulele is is complete, if there were like one or two things that you most liked or enjoy about this ukulele now that it's complete, what would that what would they be, or what would it be? Uh, for me would be uh, trying to learn how to play it uh, <laughs> with the extra neck there but uh, it's 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 a good uh, ukulele if you want the two different sounds right uh, incorporated in the song uh -huh. and I, I I think that more you play it more you get used to it it's it's a getting used to a thing right um, okay speaking of getting used to that, uh, now that you've uh, described that um, uh, to us, let's uh, let's let's play. Uh, okay. We'll uh, 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 we'll play that uke and this uke together. Key of F. Key of F. Uh, okay, play, play your F on that sound. Now play your F on this sound. And I'll play the F on this sound. There you go. So what we're gonna do is. Combine all of those. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. Okay. Who are 
dry. Yeah. <laughs> choice I have to make is which neck am I going to start off with? Go ahead, Nick. Keep going. things to talk about that we can't cover at all. The important things are ukuleles, quality ukuleles, wonderful ukuleles, all made by Manny Halkin. One of the wonderful things about building is that it provides builders lots of room to exercise their own creativity, and that is what uh, Manny has been able to do. The wonderful things about ukuleles is that they can stand alone as works of art. How often is it that we can take a work of art, look at it, and appreciate its beauty, and then after that, appreciate the fact that it provides beautiful sound? Aloha. Aloha.